Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome to the first episode of a new series for Super Nintendo Sundays. We are going to be playing The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. We're not going to watch that again. All right, so let's go ahead and create our save file. This is fun, right? It's been a long time since I've played this game, so please excuse my horrible memory. I'm going to do my best here. We're going to go ahead and start with D Mike here, the very goofy sprite for this game's era of Link. Let's go ahead and hop right in. And as you'll notice, this game is going to look a little different from what you remember. But first, we are going to be confronted by our secondary self. We are hearing things in our head. Apparently that voice in our head is named Zelda. Don't know who she is or it is, but we're going to find out maybe. So we'll learn about this Aghanim fellow. And someone wants us to go to the dungeon of a castle. That seems kind of lame, but that's okay. So blue haired Mario is going to go out for a little bit of a jaunt. We'll catch up with him later. I'm sure nothing possibly could go wrong. So in this game, you don't need any fancy pants jewelry to be able to lift pots. I love that. You can have pot whenever you want. Unfortunately though, we can't lift stones, so we can have pot whenever we want, but we can't really get stoned. That's pretty understandable. So we're gonna go ahead and move right along. There's a lot of stuff in this game that I sort of remember, but not really. So it's going to be a bit of a learning curve to get all that back. That green thing we just collected was a rupee. For those of you potentially new to the Zelda series. But we're told that this voice in our head wants us to go to the castle. They're in the dungeon. So we'll go ahead and maybe seek that out. Nothing wrong with listening to your inner thoughts. Our conscience can't lead us wrong, right? So here we are in the basement. Oh, let's go ahead and catch up with our uncle here. Oh, well, we didn't listen. And uh, apparently the voice in our head is a princess. So that's very interesting. We are given a sword and a shield for free, thanks. Not sure if he's dead or not, but uh, it's not our problem. So we need to go and investigate this castle to see if we can find whoever this princess Zelda is. I don't know. But opening that chest, our first of the game, well, second of the game. First was that torch, but that was in our own house, so, or his house. I don't know how that technically counts or not. But we need to get inside this castle somehow. But first we gotta deal with these goobers out front. Oop. This guy's coming in hot. Let's pop right in. Front door's unlocked very conveniently, thanks. And here's a timeless classic. The Hyrule Castle theme. So once again, I haven't played this in a long time, so you'll have to forgive me that I don't remember exactly where I'm supposed to go. My motivations for doing things will probably get very murky as time goes on. Not knowing exactly where I'm supposed to go, what I'm supposed to do, but I will figure it out probably. I think, maybe. You're in good hands with D-Mike here at D-Mike Plays. Didn't say smart hands though, so you'll have to bear with me. So we got a blue boy here, a little bit stronger than your run of the mill green guy. And this is a map. So if you press X, you can see the map here. It shows you where you've explored so far and that there are multiple places for you to go. So that's something that we'll deal with later. The speedrunner's worst nightmare, finding the map. But we love maps. It is very fun to send these guys to an early grave by knocking them into pits. I enjoy that. You can do that with your sword or you can share your pot with them, which is very kind and expensive. A lot of people wouldn't do that, but D 
D-Mike is a true bro, and he has no hesitations to share his pot with strangers. So we'll keep moving along. We have seven rupees. I don't know if there's a certain amount we really want to have. I know that a hundred, as you move along in this game, is kind of a, a good metric. There are points where there are things we will want to buy that are sort of expensive, but thankfully there are places in the game where you can play mini games. You can unlock hidden rooms, all kinds of places that will be filled with treasure. And in those rooms, beyond just treasure, you get the awesome feeling of robbing somebody. So there's that, you can enjoy that. But yes, don't fret, there'll be plenty of ways to gain money in this game. There's a little bit of gambling if you're into that, as we are. More in the cube variety of gambling, but you know, we'll take what we can get. Yes. Hopefully you're all noticing that this game looks a little bit better than usual. Maybe you could consider this Link to the Past HD. Hmm. This is a fun item. One of my favorites. So we'll go ahead and check out our inventory here. You'll get used to seeing this. There's something about pendants. We're going to be getting some sweet bling coming up. We've already got some equipment. Our sword, our shield, our green pants and shirt and the map. So all of this will be, you know, it'll make more sense. Also, I don't know why I said pants, because I'm pretty sure Link is not wearing pants. Pretty sure that is just a, that is a long shirt. He is going commando under that bad boy. He likes the way that it feels when there's a nice stiff breeze. Okay, so we're getting closer to the bowels of this dungeon. Oh. Well, there's a lady in there. Also, this guy looks kind of grumpy. I wonder if our boomerang here will help us out. Let's let him throw his weapon at us. It appears to be a mace. We're facing the wrong way. Oops. Let's try that again. We like, we wanted, ideally, we would like to take him from behind, but instead he had other plants and he took us from behind. Okay, this is danger. We're gonna go ahead and Grab some hearts. I'd like to not have a game over within the first 10 minutes of playing a new game. That'd be a little embarrassing, so we don't want that. But yes, this is a armor knight who somehow had a key shoved up somewhere that is now ours. It's a little smelly, but we'll take it and use it to unlock this chest. So before attending to her needs, treasure. Okay, secondary operation is helping whoever this is. She had a feeling we were getting close. Well, she's got a good pulse on our stamina, so that's very nice. So there's a wizard magically controlling all the soldiers in this castle. Well, she's concerned about her daddy. Oh, that's very kind. She loves ellipses. Did we understand? I'm going to say yes. It would be funny to say not at all, but I don't want you to repeat anything you're saying. So ignoring that, she wants us to go to the first floor because she knows of a secret path. She has a sweet cape, I wish we did. Fortunately, we do not. But we do have a very funny and goofy run cycle. So we've got that going for us. But yes, as you can see, B1, that's the basement. We need to head back to the first floor. So that way Zelda here, the voice in our head, who is now personified as a, as a lady, she can show us where to go. So we're gonna do that. I don't know if I could get back from here. Yes. So we'll go ahead and take the shortcut. I'm gonna do this first, because it's funny. Bye. See ya. Okay. So far, so good. Ignore Mr. Blue Boy. Those soldier sprites used to always really scare me when I was a kid for some reason. It just made me very uncomfortable. But I'm an adult, and now I'm only kind of scared. So progress has been made. Yes. You could sort of continue to consider, I don't know if I said continue. You can sort of consider this to be the first dungeon of the game if you'd like to. If not, you don't have to do anything except die and pay your taxes. Okay. So we're just gonna keep wandering around here. I don't know if there's anything fun I can do in the meantime, probably not. Zelda's being very patient with us as we go probably the wrong way but that's half of the fun of a Zelda game is wandering around, exploring a little bit. It's an adventure. It's a game of adventures. 
Okay. So you might think to yourself, well, I can go this way. Well, no, you can't. You cannot do that. And I believe that's part of the dungeon proper still. So we need to probably go back through the front door. We would prefer to take the back door, but you can't always get what you want. You can get attacked by soldiers, though. So let's go back in the front with Zelda in tow. She did say that she knew of a secret path passageway. I cannot talk. So let's have her show the way. Floor 2F. Something fun you can do. This doesn't really mean anything, but you can slash the curtains. The beautiful blue curtains that somebody spent so much time designing and taking care of. Well, take that. Don't care. The ornamental shelf should open. Do we have a light? Oh yeah, you betcha. Sounds like Zelda wants to light one up. She wants some of our pot. You can only push it from the left. So we're going to help her. I'd like to actually know how much of this work Zelda's really doing. Hmm. Let's go ahead and enter the... The crypt here, the catacombs of the Hyrule Castle. There are rats and bats and unfortunately not cats, because I would never make any progress in this game. I would just be spending all of my time playing with them. I do love to pet a nice good kitty. We'll go ahead and pop into our menu here, switch to the torch. Miss? Okay, great. You can activate your torch with the Y button on your controller. I believe that's what it is. I'm doing that by muscle memory, I'm not looking, because I'm a pro gamer, I don't need to look. That's what I believe that it is. You don't have to do this. You don't have to light up anything, this is not required in this instance. There will be moments in the future where you do, as we fight these ropes. Classic Zelda enemy. We'll take their lunch money. And somehow this leads to... Oops. <laughs> try to set him on fire. Somehow this leads to the rest of the basement. I don't know exactly logically how that makes any sense. But I'm just here to collect keys and, and riches. Those little green vials, as you see, are filling up that meter on the left. That's our magic meter. Very useful for using all magical items and torches and lamps and things of that nature. So we're in the sewer. Thought it smelled weird in here. I was going to ask Zelda if she had a rough lunch, but apparently it just appears that we're in the waterways underneath. So we'll keep moving along, getting a good amount of rupees. That's all random, so no real way to predict how much you will get. But most enemies will give you anywhere between 1, 5, and 20. That's what the red ones are worth. The blue ones are 5. Green ones are 1. So just the rule of thumb there for you. And you can spend all your time in these places grinding for rupees if you want. I don't like to grind for my money. I like to earn it. I mean, I guess that's, a, that's an honest way to do it, but not for me. So we'll keep moving along. We need a key. We don't have one. Oops. I was looking at Zelda for a second. I thought that was me. But then I realized I am way cooler. With my pink hair and my floppy green hat. Not entirely sure why they chose that for the sprite in this game. But it is what it is. It's pretty iconic. This game is legendary. It was known at the time as Zelda 3. There are two other Zeldas. The original for the original Nintendo, the Nintendo Entertainment System, and then Zelda 2, which was a departure from the original recipe of being kind of a top down overworld game. They went with more RPG elements that kind of polarized the fan base. Nintendo has a bit of a habit of doing that with certain franchises. This one was not immune to it. So Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link for the also for the Nintendo Entertainment System. It was pretty divisive. So she wants us to pull her switch. I also enjoy people pulling my switch, but only if they ask. Consent is important. So we're gonna grab the right one and see if it is the right one. It is. Let's see what happens if we pull the left one. 
Ooh! We got a nice farty tune to let us know that we have made a terrible mistake. A mistake. Oops! Couldn't have seen that coming. Alright. Now you know. So, in case that was a burning part of your heart, I need to know, D-Mike, what is the left switch? Now you know. It's actually never been done in a Let's Play before, so I'm happy to bring that to the attention of all of you. Is this your doing, D-Mike? Is, are you the reason why Zelda is so smelly? Ooh, okay, this is very intense with all these lips. I don't know what to do with myself. I like that you're just taking a snooze, and then this voice in your head's like, hey, you have to save the world. You do, right now. So do it, or else. Very interesting. So this magical wizard that we saw in the opening scroll, he's a pretty nasty dude. Wants us to get the Master Sword. So thankfully we do have a map and it's marked on there, so we'll find out where to go. Very convenient. Let's seek the Elder. Yes, please stop talking. Instead we will take your jewelry. We have a heart container. Okay, and what does Zelda have? to say before we go and never see her again. Okay, it's a pretty big confidence boost. All right. Oof. So that was a pretty intense mission. We have our call to action. We rescued Zelda from the clutches of the basement of the castle. Very smelly, but she's safe and sound. We will go and talk to the village elder next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been Dean Mike. This has been Super Nintendo Sundays with The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!